So the question I get asked the most, what about loose skin? Hey folks, my name's Allie, let's get started. So do I have loose skin? Yes, it's there. Question finally answered. To be honest, y'all, I had loose skin even when I was fat, okay? I was a fat kid, a fat teen, and a fat young adult. Um, I had bad skin then, and I even had stretch marks. Um, y'all, when I was a kid, I was tall. I remember being at the doctor's office. I must have been about eight or nine because we were living in a certain area at the time. And he told me I had the body of a 16-year-old. And so back then I was probably five foot six at eight or nine years old. So I've always been a bigger kid in height and weight. Um, I'm still tall, but I'm not fat anymore. So that's the good thing. So to be honest, I never had good skin because of my weight. And honestly, I've allowed the fear of having loose skin keep me from losing the weight. I remember when I was a teenager, I would tell myself in the mirror, I'd say, you know, you're fat. If you lose weight, you'll have loose skin anyway, and you'll still be ugly. Well, I allowed those thoughts to keep me from losing the weight. You know, just thinking, what's the point if I'm not going to look the way I want to look? And also, too, I allowed the fear of loose skin to be kind of an excuse to not change my ways if I thought, well, even if I do eat differently and eat healthy and be more active, I'm still not going to look the way I want. I'm still going to feel ugly. So I'm just going to keep eating this way. I'm going to eat whatever I want and I'm just going to be unhealthy and unhappy. And that was the wrong choice to make for so long. I would think if I can't even wear a bikini to the beach, what's the point? I'm just going to keep eating all this bad food and just make myself feel better that way. But I mean, honestly, looking back, I asked myself, well, Allie, how often do you go to the beach anyway? I mean, have you guys seen how pale I am? I'm trying to take care of my skin here. I don't lay out anymore. I go to the pool like once or twice a year for about 30 minutes. So definitely my advice to you is if you're using the loose skin excuse to keep from changing your habits and your diet, um, look at yourself, examine yourself and your thoughts and your motivations because I'll be honest, I allowed that to keep me from losing the weight for so long that I regret it now. So if you're having an issue with that, if you're afraid to lose weight because you're afraid of loose skin, please don't have that fear, okay? That's something that's not that bad, I promise you. And honestly, in the last two and a half years, there's only been one instance where it's ever been a thing, like an issue where it affected me in a negative way. But I was the bird. That situation was the last fragment of the egg. <laughs> Throw in some Hessa in there. Anyway, overall, having the skin issue hasn't been a thing. It's not an issue. And I'm really disappointed in myself that I allowed those thoughts to hold me back because I am 10 times happier now than I ever was when I was fat, okay? I made a list of the pros and cons of being fat versus being skinny, okay? And this is what the list is. When I was fat, I still had bad skin, okay? It was still not good. It wasn't a good situation then. I was out of breath all the time if I was just walking somewhere. Um, my fingers were starting to get numb. I think that was a sign of prediabetes. Also a sign of prediabetes, I was getting these black marks on my skin which I believe was the excess insulin or sugar that my body couldn't process anymore. That's gone now. I was spending lots of money on food and I was sleeping in and being really lazy. I was unmotivated in a lot of aspects of my life and that made me really depressed and unhappy because I didn't know what I should do to make myself happier. I was self-conscious and hated being out in large groups of people. It was hard to find clothes. I couldn't just go to the mall and shop for clothes like I can now. And even just shaving my legs in the shower is so much easier now. I was always hungry, but I was never satisfied. And oftentimes I was ashamed of myself. Sometimes I even ate in secret, okay? I was, and I still am, a food addict. And it's a thing um, people don't realize, but I was addicted to food. I still am, but now I can control it, thanks to keto and my new way of eating. So those were the effects of being overweight. The effects of losing weight, however, I have increased productivity. I have a full-time job, but I still do these videos as a hobby and they're fun and I like doing them. And I'm tired all the time because I'm doing something all the time. So I'm getting more stuff done in pretty much every aspect of my life now. 
and that's been possible because I have more energy now. Um, I don't get winded. I can walk places. I don't get as tired or as sleepy or almost lightheaded throughout the day. I have increased confidence, which has increased my happiness with my social life. Because getting my diet under control was such a life-changing event, I realized I could get other things under control. So my finances are probably five times better than they were. I'm saving money now, which is something I was never really able to do. I have clearer skin. I used to get really bad um, little clusters of pimples right along my chin, and I don't get that anymore. Um, if I do get a pimple, it's like one random one, and it's gone in a couple days. I'm more active, I'm more disciplined, and overall, I feel like I'm more healthy. I am healthier. And finally, I have a hot boyfriend. <laughs> He's good looking. And the one con that I already had beforehand was the skin issues. So please don't let loose skin or the fear of loose skin keep you from making the big change. Um, it's not worth it to live unhappily. If you are unhappy being overweight, I urge you to consider changing your diet. Give keto a try. It's really about eating good healthy food and a lot less processed food. Um, all I eat mostly is meat, veggies, dairy, eggs, sometimes dark chocolate. So I hope that that answered your questions. That's probably the one I've seen the most on all of my videos. So I hope that that helped. Um, but I do want to know though, have you allowed the fear of loose skin get in your way of weight loss? And if you have lost weight, how do you feel about the loose skin now? Um, do you feel like you regret losing weight at all? Are you happier now? Were you happier before you lost the weight? I want to know what you guys think, so leave me a comment below and let's discuss this. Well folks, that's about it for today. If you have a question or request, feel free to leave me a comment down below as well. Um, thank you for watching. My name's Ellie. Have a good one. Bye.